talk about rational exponents. In the past, our exponents have been integers. Now, let's say you have the square root of a. Well, we know it's a square root, right? So we don't usually write a little 2 here. You could, but usually we don't. That would be the index. And the exponent on a is 1, right? Like we don't usually write that 1 either. What we're saying then is if you have the square root of a, we have a new notation. You can write that as a to the 1 half. Okay? So instead of writing it with a radical, you can write it with an exponent. So we have a method of doing it. I'll do another example. Let's say you have the cubed root of b squared. Then that can be written as b to the 2 thirds. Okay? Now here's the rule. If you have um, the nth root of a to the m, that is equal to a to the m over n. So your exponent here inside becomes the numerator and the index becomes the denominator. And then you're writing it with um, an exponent and not radical notation. So sometimes we'll say write it in radical notation or write it in exponential notation. All right, so we have a couple examples where we can practice. It says write 343 to the 2 thirds as a radical and then simplify. So you've got the 343, that's the base, and you know it's going to be a radical. Now the numerator is going to go here, 2, and then the index is going to be the 3, the denominator. Now it's always easier when you're simplifying, it's almost always easier to do the radical part first. So you don't have to write it that way. You could write it as the cubed root of 343 and then square it. Put the square like on the outside. That's the same thing. So it doesn't matter if you do the cubed root and then the square or if you do the squaring and then the cubed root. But I think it's easier. I mean, I don't really want to square 343. That's too big of a number. And I know what the cubed root of 343 is. It's 7. And I know that's probably something you're not familiar with. I just have been teaching math a long time. Um, but you could find it. You know, you could, you could practice and find that. All right. And then 7 squared would be 49. So the answer is 39. I could give you some perfect cubes, like I gave you the perfect squares. So you got 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, 5 cubed is 125, 6 cubed, uh, I'm pretty sure it's 216, 7 cubed, that's the 343 we just did. Um, 8 cubed is 512. Um, 9 cubed, 729. And then 10 cubed is 1,000. That's it for me. But anyway, it might be helpful to be familiar with those numbers. All right. Now this next one, it's in radical notation, but we want to write it with a rational exponent. Okay, so take it one step at a time. Right now we have 4 over the 7th root of a squared. Okay, the 4, there's the 4. I can write the denominator as a to the 2 sevenths, right? Now, I guess you could leave it like that. It doesn't look very nice. I'm going to change it to 4 a to the negative to sevenths because it was in the denominator, right? So I could bring it up and give it a negative, a negative exponent and I'm going to leave it like that. All right, so think about kind of each step separately what you're doing. First we changed it to the fraction notation or the rational exponent notation and then we thought about, oh, it's in the denominator. That means I could bring it up to the numerator. I just have to make it a negative exponent. It didn't say to use positive exponents. Um, usually we've been using positive exponents. Maybe we'd rather have it this way. Hmm. Well, I guess we can think about that. Might depend on what we're doing with it.